uh, take a look at uh, you know the Hamas operatives that have been in fact eliminated by Israel as Hamas Israel's uh, a war enters day, tw day 13 I beg your pardon uh, the death toll has crossed 3,400 in Gaza and 1,400 in Israel meanwhile the Israeli defense forces have now eliminated seven key Hamas operatives this list includes uh, Ali Kudi the commander of Hamas um, Israel has been carrying out air and artillery bombardment of Hamas targets in the Gaza Strip. The Israeli military has confirmed the killing of uh, Nofal, describing him as one of the most dominant figures in the terror organization. Meanwhile, let's in fact uh, take a look at the seven key operatives that have been uh, neutralized uh, by the Israeli Defense Forces. If we can start flashing, uh, you know, of course, I was talking about uh, Al Qudi, who is the commander of Hamas's uh, Nukwa Jabalia Assault Company. He is one of uh, the key operatives that have been eliminated. Uh, let's in fact move ahead uh, to the next uh, person that has been eliminated. Remember, viewers, Israel has been carrying out out airstrikes constantly against um, you know uh, Hamas targets uh, the second is uh, Meitwa's Eid he is the commander of Hamas's southern district of uh, national security he is the second key Hamas operative that has been uh, gunned down by Israel Israel of course is uh, carrying out strikes against Hamas there were videos that were circulating uh, and that the IDF was releasing constantly if we can move on to uh, the third operator and the next slide uh, to showcase our viewers. Yes, uh, this is another key Hamas operator who has been gunned down. His name is Zakaria Aru Mahamar. He is the head of international uh, relations. Meanwhile, uh, looking at the next key operative, this is Jawad Abu Shmala. He is Hamas Minister of Economy in the Gaza Strip. He is another of uh, the key Hamas operatives eliminated. Let's move on to the next operative em eliminated and take a look at uh, the fifth operative who is uh, Bilal al Qadra? He is the commander of the Nukba Southern Khan Yunis Assault Company. Uh, his photo has not been released, but it is confirmed that he's also one of the key operatives eliminated by uh, the Israeli Defense Forces. Um, we are constantly getting visuals of the IDF's action, and this is the sixth operative. He is uh, Mirad Abu Mirad. He is the head of the Hamas aerial array in the Gaza Strip. Uh, the IDF has been uh, bombarded bombarding the Gaza Strip and taking out uh, these targets and let's take a look at the final and last operative uh, if you can have a look at that uh, yes this is Ayman Nofal he is a senior Hamas operative his photo is right here you can see it on your screens viewers um, he has also been neutralized by the Israeli Defense Forces. Meanwhile, still with us on the broadcast this morning is Mr. Sanjeev Srivastav, international affairs expert. Um, sir, you know, the IDF is constantly acting and it's constantly crack cracking down against terror uh, and Hamas's terror that is operating from the Gaza Strip. Seven key Hamas operatives have been eliminated. What is your reaction to the statistic? I think uh, IDF uh, is uh, getting a uh, uh, very good success and I think uh, uh, this uh, elimination of uh, these uh, dreaded uh, uh, terrorists is uh, uh, a very uh, right uh, development is happening uh, as far as the IDF's uh, operation against terrorism is concerned, against Israel's uh, war against terrorism is concerned and I think uh, uh, such you know, uh, terrorists must be eliminated uh, wherever they are operating from and uh, it's a very good development. And uh, I think that there are many more, and uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, uh, Hamas uh, terrorists. They are staying abroad, obviously uh, in Qatar and many places. They have taken shelter. So I think uh, such terrorists uh, uh, must be, you know, Israel will pursue them hard, and uh, they want to completely, you know, eliminate this uh, terror infrastructure of uh, and uh, activities of Hamas. And uh, for that, I think Israel is uh, very much determined. Israel, you know, uh, Pia, I think uh, they tried their uh, best, they tried hard uh, to uh, have a working relationship uh, with this uh, terror entity uh, when they, you know, withdrew from uh, Gaza uh, uh, with the unilateral disengagement in 2005. 
after that, uh, you know, uh, efforts were made uh, uh, by the Israeli establishment to have uh, some uh, relationship, and Hamas also uh, kept on giving the impression that uh, they want to improve ties, they, they, they are behaving, and they will behave properly, and etc., etc. But uh, what is uh, quite visible that uh, Hamas, uh, you know, betrayed uh, Israel in a big way uh, by carrying out uh, this kind of a deceptive terrorist attack on Israel. And uh, obviously, it, uh, Hamas has broken uh, whatever the trust they were attempting to uh, build with Israel. Obviously, they were betraying Israel. They had a very deep plan. And if you look at the Hamas's uh, charter, uh, they want to eliminate Israel uh, uh, from the world map. And that is what their you know, intention, real intention is. So I think with this kind of exposure, with this terrorist entity has uh, on uh, October 7, the kind of a barbaric, you know, a brutal uh, assault they carried out against the innocent uh, people, uh, uh, you know, children, uh, women, old age uh, people, those who are on the wheel, uh, wheelchair, those Holocaust survivors, they have not, you know, spared the Holocaust survivors. So I think obviously this kind of, uh, you know, the kind of exposure, they, uh, the kind of real character they showed on October 7, that is unacceptable. And I think Israel uh, will not stop until this uh, terrorist, terror entity's uh, rule in Gaza, uh, which obviously they are ruling from 2007 onwards, is ended. And obviously uh, also uh, Israel is very much determined to, you know, uh, decimate uh, their terror machine. Uh, terror infrastructure, tunnels, and etc., etc., the kind of uh, rocket sector, etc., which they are having, and obviously they are misfiring it, and they are uh, <coughs> they are not, you know, uh, keeping it properly. So entire thing is also, you know, has to be eliminated, has to be decimated, destroyed. So I think Israel is very much uh, going ahead with its war against terrorism. But having said that, let me say uh, that uh, this entire in this war, the the rules of war. Uh, the kind of uh, treatment which a responsible nation uh, must uh, uh, show uh, uh, during this war uh, with uh, common people, civilians, that must al always be kept in mind and there should not be any compromise with that. And I think uh, I am sure that Israeli army is a professional army and a Israeli is a very responsible nation and uh, they are taking a lot of care and caution with regard to, you know, while they move ahead with their operation against Hamas. So I think Hamas, uh, Hamas, you cannot expect these things from Hamas. Uh, but uh, uh, certainly, uh, such things, the uh, rules of war and the kind of uh, treatment it's, it's, that should be meted out to civilians uh, during that war, I think that can be expected from Israel. And I'm sure that Israel will take care of uh, you know such uh, uh, things also, uh, civilian uh, 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 side, uh, uh, and, and they will take a care and caution while moving ahead uh, with their operation. But uh, uh, last point I have to say here that uh, you know this uh, this war against terrorism which Israel has launched could be a long drawn process. Uh, it will be uh, difficult. It will be uh, it will be uh, not easy uh, to win over to defeat this entire terror machine and infrastructure. So I think uh, Israel uh, uh, will have to be uh, uh, patient also at the same time when they are moving ahead uh, with their uh, various uh, operations. Uh. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.